So we previously learned that we can use the trapezoidal rule to approximate the definite integral of a given curve. Well, in this part, we're going to try to generalize the trapezoidal rule. So let's say we have a function f of x with x over here. And our a value is here and our b value is here and we'll divide it into three different trapezoids and we're just going to pretend that each of the height heights of the trapezoids is equal so using the area of the trapezoid we can approximate the definite integral between x equals a and x equals b through this formula a equals one half times the height of the first trapezoid times base one, which is equal to f of a plus f of, we're just going to call that x one, plus one half the same height of f of x1, so this one over here, plus f of x2, plus one half the height of f of x2, plus the f of b. So let's try to factor this out to make it a little bit cleaner. Now we have one half h factored out and then f of a plus f of x1 plus f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of x2 plus f of b. So now we can group these together and what we get is 1 half h f of a plus 2 f of x1 plus 2 f of x2 plus f of b. And what we notice here is that these two would cancel out so we can rewrite this as the height of one half f of a plus f of x1 plus f of x2 plus one half f of b. And notice how the only ones that are multiplied by one half are the first and the last values of x. And this will carry true no matter how many trapezoids you have. So how do we exactly determine what the height is when we split the area of the curve into equal trapezoids or like equal width trapezoids? Well, we can take the difference between b and a, so b minus a, and divide by the number of trapezoids. So we'll say n equals the number of trapezoids, and this will give us h. So, in conclusion, the area of the the area underneath the curve can be approximated using the trapezoidal rule with the equation of the height, which is b minus a divided by the number of trapezoids you have times half of the first one, half of the last one, and all the intermediate values of x.